Klein here at fishboss.com and I'd like to show you one of the latest jigs that we've added to our line. A lot of work went into developing this. This is called our Invader Jig. It's a big magnum heavy jig that was built with aquatic vegetation in mind and now it's summertime. A lot of our lakes in the Tennessee River and, the, and then all around the country have a lot of heavy aquatic vegetation that tops out. That's the reason why this bait is designed, built the way it was. Eye forward, and we did a hook extension with a custom heavy wire five odd hook. But we extended the length, got the bite away from all of that lead. Now this particular invader head right here is an ounce and a half. We have an ounce and a half, an ounce, and three quarters. I'm going to show you how you basically build a real quick skirt for that ounce and a half head. Again, when you're fishing, they call it punching uh, or dropping in the real heavy stuff. To me, it's all about rate of fall. And rate of fall, you the angler can determine that by the amount of material you use on your jig. In other words, if you just want to take this head and put a plastic trailer on, it's going to fall a lot quicker than if you were to build some silicone material on it and make a little bit of bulk. Uh, but I'm going to show you just the standard way. Silicone skirt material basically comes, each tab as we call it has 22 ends to it. And a lot of us just like to use the standard two tabs to give you 44 ends of silicone. With the fishboss.com skirt tool, I've just slid my, uh, slid my collar up onto the tool removed it. Now I want to take this material, but I want to add a little bit of color to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blue, which green pumpkin and blue, especially around aquatic vegetation, is one of my favorite color combinations. Two tabs and a half a tab. Take my skirt tool, both pieces, run it up into the midsection, and I'm just going to slide my skirt collar down. A lot of times I want to take and I'll even it out with my fingers simply by stretching it and pulling it like that. Grab my scissors, trim both ends of the skirt. I'm going to take this skirt here and I'm going to add it to this ounce and a half. Fish Boss Invader Head. Now you have one of the most awesome grass jigs that I've ever used. Most of the time when we're fishing aquatic vegetation like that, we're, we're usually using braid line because on the hook set, the braid line will cut through the aquatic. We're usually using 50, 65, or 80 pound test. That's what this jig is designed for. Big rods that have a lot of leverage, low stretch lines, and big fish. The Fish Boss Invader Jig.